Of course, there was a time when it was a big community staple in Waterloo. The former St. Mary's Catholic Church is nearing its final days after, really, think about it, shuttering its doors for good nearly 15 years ago. And volunteers have spent the last several months and weeks saving anything and everything that they could. So with that in mind, let's go live right now to KWW reporter Taylor Vessel. You toured the school today, Taylor, with some of those volunteers to kind of tell us What's left? Do they leave anything behind? <laughs> Ron, it's wiped clean yeah. from the pews to the stained glass to the organ pipes. All of that now in the hands of former students and parishioners. Now, those who rescued relics within say they weren't going to let such treasures be lost when the building is leveled next year. We just couldn't bear to see all of those things just be leveled. A decaying school left with just memories. The former St. Mary School awaits demolition. We just won't be able to come back to it anymore. Um, and what we'll take from it is our memories. Since last December, Marianne Nolan and John Hayes gave the school a swan song. I was an organist here for years. With help from friends and former students, they cleaned house, saving everything from the pews to the stained glass. It's pretty much stripped of everything that we could get out of it. Working through the winter. And, uh, it was bitter and cold, but um, we didn't even feel it. We, we were just so happy to know that those things wouldn't be destroyed. They didn't start with much of a plan, just wanting to salvage what they could. It's gone a direction that we never even thought it would. Waterloo's most famous brothers, the five Sullivans, were St. Mary's alum. The five brothers represent the greatest military loss at one time for a single family. Kelly Sullivan, the only living descendant, offered to help with the project and adding artifacts from within to various sites honoring her family. To know that some of the stuff will be preserved in history forever along with the five Sullivan brothers monuments um, is just, it's, I, I couldn't have expected a better outcome. It's all good. We could not have expected a better outcome. And right now, two statues remain on the front of the school at one time watching over students entering its halls. Hayes and Nolan say they don't have the resources right now to take them down. They hope to save them, but both agree that even if they come down in pieces, this angel's wings won't be clipped by a wrecking ball. In studio, Taylor Vessel, News 7K, WWL. That's great to hear, Taylor. Thanks so much. And by the way, Kelly Sullivan was recently quoted in The Courier. She said that this project will connect all of the Sullivan Memorial sites, quite literally honoring the Sullivan family motto of we stick together.